This group of videos will show you how to set up and use Adventex Web Access software. This first video will show you the installation of the software. As Web Access uses an internet server for you to access the project manager, you need to have the internet services activated on your computer. We will check if this component of Windows is installed. Open the control panel. Enter add and remove programs. Enter add remove Windows component tab. You can see Internet Information Services. If it is not ticked, tick it and click on Next to install it. During this installation, you will need the Windows installation CD. Now, we can install the Web Access software. You can download this Web Access software from Adventex website. Open your web browser and connect to the Adventec homepage. In Support, select Downloads. In Keyword Search, enter Web Access. Enter the Installation tab and click on the Web Access link. You have here the five files needed to install Web Access. Download all five and extract them to obtain a CD image. You can burn the CD image on a CD or use a virtual CD player to open it. Then, open the CD installation directory and select the setup program. We will now install the project node and scatter node. This is the core of Web Access software. Follow the install shield. Accept the license. Enter your username and your company name. There are four different installations possible. Both Project Node and Scatter Node if you want to use them on the same computer. You can install the Project Node only if you want to install the scatter node on another computer, you can install the scatter node only if you already have a project node somewhere else. Or you can install the OPC service. It is a relay to read some of the data acquisition cards. Choose an installation directory. and enter your the, the registration key. You don't need to enter it if you want to use the demonstration program. Enter the primary TCP port. If you have a firewall, you should enter an authorized port. If you don't, you can leave zero, which correspond to the default TCP port. Same thing for the secondary TCP port. The zero will correspond to the secondary TCP port which is different of the first one.
choose the file to the folder to put your internet pages. It has been created when you install IIS. If you have entered a CDK, tick Install Control File. If you are using the Diffumo version, then leave this box unchecked. Your computer will restart at the end of the installation. The project node and scatter nodes are now installed. You can check that the scatter node is on as you can access it through this icon and open all the different tools. We will now install the client to access the nodes. Open the setup program again. and click on Web Access Client. Follow the installation shield. Accept the license again, enter your username, select the folder, and wait for the installation. You now have web access installed on your computer. Exit the setup software and open the client. You should have an icon on your desktop. Enter the project node IP address. You can enter this IP address for the local computer if you install the client on the same computer as the project. Open project management Enter the login and password. They are admin and no password. You now entered the project manager. We will create the first project. Choose a project name and select the IP address. Use the n ports you selected during the installation. You can choose an access code if you want an enhanced security. You now have a first project. Please enter the project page. From this page, you can choose the project users, change the project properties, or add a SCADA node. We will now add the first SCADA node. SCADA nodes are important as they will be the interface to connect all the devices. Choose a name for the node. Enter the IP address and TCP ports as, in, as the one you entered during the installation. The other parameters are not necessary for the moment. We will give further explanation in the next video. Submit the form to create the first SCADA node. You will see the scatter node page appear in the project folder. 
from this page you can access to all the main tools of the SCADA node such as the tool to monitor, to draw or the download functions to go to put all the new settings on the node. You can also create all the tags. The tags will represent all the elements of your system such as inputs and outputs or calculation inside of the node. The draw tool will allow you to design the interface. The view tool will allow you to monitor this in through the interface. Download will allow you to download all the tags onto your node. And you can also start the node from here. This video is now finished. The next video will introduce the different properties of the project manager. For further information, refer to the online help.